Hey Greens! Today I'm back with this guy, right? Y'all wanna see him pick my craft supplies. Again! Now before some of you go far ahead and say, But Jakey, your chicken is broken, he's all scruffy and things. See what you make people do? Don't. What? Why'd you, why'd you hit my hat? That's not nice. I want to be very clear, it's it's the time of year when birds and the bees. Is, is that is that what it's called in the US? I never understood that analogy, so you want me to stop? You ready? Okay. So for today, I'm going to be giving Angel, my parrot, was kind of a demon. I'm going to be giving him some choices for choosing my craft supplies. Wow, vocabulary variety number one. So we're going to start with the base of clay. So he can either choose from Daiso clay, which is just soft air dry clay. I have it in red, yellow, black, and white. The challenge itself is going to be pretty hardcore because I don't have a variety in any of the clays I'm doing today. Next, he can also choose from this stone powder clay. I've never used this before. I have no idea what its reaction is going to be like, nor the dry time. So this would be the least ideal choice he would pick. You're gonna pick it, aren't you? We, we need to pray to the clay gods. Don't hit me. <laughs> Next, probably this is, I don't know why, why did I do this to myself? I keep giving myself difficult choices. So this is rice dough clay. From what I know is that this is kind of like Play-Doh. So we have it in red, white, and blue. So it's real, you're still hitting me, you know that? That's rude. Dude. All right, so the next thing is color. Because I have a limited variety of color, we're gonna make this challenge a little more difficult. So I will give myself the choice of acrylic paints, but I can either use only, no, I'm not just using Pico, bird, bird, stop interrupting. I can either only use the primary colors or, or all the colors that I have at my disposal for, for paint. Obviously, ideally, all the colors, right? Next, on Instagram, I asked your grains to give me some themes. I, I definitely need themes because sometimes I could just keep doing the same things over and over again. The first theme I'm writing down is by Delightful, and that one is Sweets. Can't go wrong with Sweets. You're pretty salty, though. Next one is by Red Bunny Lips, and they suggested Greek mythology. I love the creatures in Greek mythology. Dash Room Brew, I, I know the name is longer, but Instagram won't let me see it all. Suggested a banana that is half angel and half demon. You, you know, you know the things I like. Jungkook's underscore arm suggests a... <laughs> he didn't say peekaboo bird. No, he didn't. No, he didn't! A dragon that is derpy but cute at the same time and has a tiny bucket in its hands. And last but not least, by Super Wagdan, Fantasy or oh Hell. I love how this person went like, Fantasy Land. Oh hell. Hi, you okay? And the last challenge I'm going to be giving myself is two different time frames. Some of you may or may not know, I am a slow sculptor. So already doing something in one hour is very difficult. Now the question is, will Angel be choosing one hour or will he be choosing half an hour? Which one are you gonna choose, Angel? I know it's a secret. Before we head on, <laughs> Angel, <laughs> why you gotta interrupt me? Everyone already loves you. The attention is already on you. <laughs> I'm gonna put him away because he's getting a little too excited. Before we begin, this week's shout outs go to Pretty Indie Dad, Besseran, and Kibitzer. Your drawing styles are absolutely gorgeous. And from the comments, Guinea Pig Bridge 12, M. Lynn Breggett. Remember, if you want a shout out in my Friday videos, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first 45 minutes of your video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram or Twitter anytime with any of your creations. This is your time to shine, babe. You ready? All right, so for those of you who don't know, what I do is I pit these against each other. So whatever is eliminated goes uh, in the trash, and the other one goes against the next one. You just take a poo. I saw that. Splinter, stop it. Stop it. So first we have stone clay versus air dry clay. He's already ready, look at him. Go for it. Stone clay? Dang nabbit, you didn't even let the camera focus, buddy. Hey, don't fight me! Don't fight me! Go fight me! Now we have rice dough versus stone clay. At this point, I am hoping for stone clay. Fingers crossed. There we go. No! Rice dough, you're cruel! 
You're cruel. All paint versus primary colors only. And he's, he's so looking for it. Okay, all colors. Thank you. Actually, I just realized that it's primary, not all colors. You're still on this whole streak of cruelty, aren't you? You hate me? That's not nice. Now we have sweets versus Greek. Off we go. Sweets wins this round. Don't, don't break that paper. You can't take both, only one. Now we have banana versus sweets. Banana. Banana versus fantasy hell. Oh, wait, which one? Which one? You went for banana first. Now we have dragon versus banana, but since he tore the paper, I just put an empty yellow one. Let me just make them even. And he went for banana again. I guess uh, half evil, half good banana with rice play-doh. Now for the last thing is, do I get 30 minutes or do I get a whole hour? All right, Angel, you coming? Come. And we get an hour. All right, Angel, so you've been pretty brutal for me, except for the whole hour. Thank you for that. But can I say, thank you for nothing, for nothing. And don't fight me, don't fight me. Look at you, you ruined your own wings. All this because you need a girlfriend. <laughs> All right, thanks, Angel, because this means this has to wait another time. And I've been wanting to try this for the longest time, but not today. So here are the materials we're allowed to use. Japanese rice dough, which is, I'm pretty sure, like Play-Doh. So that's gonna be a huge, huge pain in the bum to work with. And what makes this fun is I only have this in red, blue, and white. Especially considering our theme is banana. Good news is that banana is half demon, half angel, so red works. And when it comes to paint, I'm allowed my primary colors. So good thing there's yellow because the banana, half of it. And last but not least, I have one hour to work with this for a material that will probably not want to hold itself. This is going to be quite the challenge. So let's see what the texture is like on the inside. Jars are so tiny. I love these plastic containers. I want to reuse them. So here's what it looks like. What does it smell like? That's so weird. It smells like a sweet rice mochi, like a mochi dessert, like sweet rice. It probably tastes salty. I'm not going to put it in my mouth. It's sweet. What? Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't be a Jackie. Okay, so it does seem at first, at first uh, hand experience, holding at first, at first. So it does seem pretty stiff. Let's see once we squeeze it. It does seem to hold its shape. That is really cool. I am super excited by this. Of course, this is not made to make sculptures, but I'm having, I'm, I'm having just a little bit of hope on this. And so the first thing I decided to do, I didn't want this to be a tiny sculpture. I didn't want the, the easy way out. So I decided to take some foil paper and wrap that rice dough around it. Now, because this is a half demon, half angel banana, it's going to be taking horns. It needs to stand on two legs. And again, I know this is supposed to be Play-Doh, so I need it to hold itself, which means I kind of don't have a choice but to glue on some limbs. Otherwise, I, I really, I highly doubt this is going to work either way. It may or may not work. I, I think, I think it, it all has to do with luck, right? Fingers crossed. As I was starting to put the clay onto the piece, I realized there's nothing to hold it together. So I'm just going to use a little bit of tacky glue and see if I can get the shape stuck around it. Fingers crossed. I'm, I'm crossing a lot of fingers today. As I'm working with this dough, it is drying up. It's cracking. I'm trying to use some water to, you know, avoid the cracks as much as possible. The other great thing, being sarcastic of course, is that I'm pretty limited on the amount of red clay I have. So goodbye, last piece. I wanted this banana to be pretty big, but it's missing clay. So I'm going to have to patch it up with different colors and um, hope that I can compensate with the paint. I guess we'll find out. As I'm smoothing the tail on, I realize, well, good job. Now I can't really just use the red part as the red part because now we have white 
right on top of it. Maybe I can fix this part by doing some dry brushing at the end, but then again, remember, I only have primary colors, which means the darkest I can get is like a brown or a really deep purple, but man, I feel like I'm complaining a lot. Thanks for nothing, Angel. I see you. I hope you're proud of yourself. This has got to be probably one of the toughest challenges that Angel threw my way. I absolutely love how huge the horn looks, but then I realized I have no, no reds for the arm. So I decided to go with the same color as the horn for the arms, and they're just gonna be tiny T-Rex type arms. As I'm making the wings, the white was already starting to dry, and not the kind of dry that I can rescue it with water, because it was getting crispy, and it just didn't want to hold details. So I decided it would be safe to just go with a chibi type wing because this this is not made for details. All right, I'm starting to panic just a little, a little bit. Even though I'm panicking, I'm taking this time to talk to you grains because it is 9.42, which means I have less than 18 minutes to go and I have to dry this. So I, I took out the um, hair dryer. And then I have no idea how many coats of yellow acrylic paint this is going to take. And then I still have to draw on the face. So, uh, me get the, 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 the tension, the stress, Angel. No thanks. So as I'm painting it, I realize that it's starting to re-soften the actual rice dough. Some parts were hard, some parts were soft, and it was hard to know where it was holding on. The colors themselves, yes, they are primary colors, but I don't get any white or black, which means I can't have strong colors to make the colors pop out even more. And since I'm rushing against time, there was no way for me to finish this in under one hour. I mean, good greens, there's like one, I start, to be fair, I started at, at 59. So there's two more minutes left and I'm really starting to panic because this is not how I envisioned it at all. I didn't even finish the tail yet. It's, it's just, I mean, good, I've, I'm, I'm so panicking, so panicking. Don't forget, um, look, look at me, look at me right here. I'm running against time, so again, Try to do this with a one hour time limit, huh? Mm. I'm really panicking. This is not what I had in mind. This is, you know what, I'm just gonna stop right here. Cause you can't, you can't make miracles in under one minute. And here is Banana Sama. That's actually fun, pretty fun to say, Banana Sama. This has got to be the biggest pile of trash that I've ever made. <laughs> I really had like this vision in my head where it'd be very, very badassery kind of thing. But, 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 wait. Given the fact that I was working with Play-Doh, so rice dough that is intended for, you know, first of all, young kids, and secondly, is not intended to be made into a sculpture, I think I did pretty decently, mediocrely well. What do you think? Do you think I took on Angel's challenge fairly, or was there room for improvement? Considering, considering the materials I was given. Because if you think you could do better, I want to see your pictures, send them to me, do the hashtag nerdycrafter, and I want to see your Play-Doh recreations. Why am I challenging you, <laughs> Yeah, this was hard. This was pretty tough. But I did have fun, and of course, bonding with my with my burb, my evil burb, who sometimes loves me, is always a plus. By the way, I want to be very clear. I know many of you are seeing me and Angel interact, and you're like, oh my gosh, I want a burb. Please do not buy a parrot. Parrots, like Angel, can live up to 60 years old. They are so much responsibility, and when I rescued him, he was already on his third home. Because people who get parrots usually abandon them because they don't realize how much work, time, and money they cost. So please, if you're looking into a parrot, make sure you do a lot of research in terms of the kind of care they need and the amount of noise they make. Because trust me, when I come back home from work, I hear him screaming outside of the house. So, they're cute. Before I let your grains go, I want to say a huge thank you for those of you who are members on the salt, sea salt, sea salt tier, which is the shout out tier on YouTube. Raptor Queen, Hokari Ru, Hikaru Kensuku, Sleuthel, Wicked Lotus, Juliet Glazer, Melody Glazer, and unfortunately there is a channel fail to load that I've been trying to find out whose name it is, so if I don't mention you, try to contact YouTube to find out why your name isn't loading. 
Sora2413, Jackass Smith, Crafty Monster2112, Chibi Heavy, and Angel Fire. Thank you so much for watching my little grains. If you want to see a crafty video, make sure you check it up here. And if you want to see a salty video, because this one wasn't salty enough, check it out down there. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.